Hey, so very quick video today. We're just going to talk about classifying conics. Um, there is a formula that we can learn and learn a discriminant um, for conics because they are considered a second degree, which is degree two. But um, we just want you to be able to basically identify them pretty quickly. So I'm going to tell you what I look for when I'm identifying conics. And the first thing I look for are how many squared terms there are. There are two squared terms here, which means this cannot be a parabola. I look for whether they're positive or negative, and the first thing I see is that y squared is negative. The only conic that has a y squared negative would be a hyperbola. In this one again, I look for my squared terms. I have two of them. So I have a choice between parabola, ellipse, circle, and hyperbola. As soon as I see that there are two squared terms, I automatically know that parabola is gone. So now I look for adding and subtracting. Since this is addition, I know that hyperbola is gone because that has to be one of the squared terms have to be negative. Then I look at the leading coefficients. So my leading coefficients are here, and they're different. And if I were to complete the square, I would end up with some constant over here on the right. When I divide through by this constant, the denominators underneath the squared terms is going to be different, which means that this has to be an ellipse. All right, now we're going to look at this one, and immediately I know I have parabola, ellipse, circle, hyperbola. I see only one squared term right here, which means it has to be a parabola. And lastly, I am looking for squared terms, and I see two, so I know I have narrowed it down to uh, circle, ellipse, or hyperbola. I also see that the x squared is positive and the y squared is positive, so it can't be a hyperbola. I notice that the leading coefficients in front of my squared terms are the same. So again, think about this. If you're going to complete the square, you would end up with a constant over here and you would divide both your binomials. When I divide through, the denominators in here are going to be the same. When they are the same, it means I'm going vertically and horizontally the same amount, which would lead me to a circle. So what I'd like you to do now is just look at the screen. Press pause and look at the screen and see if you can immediately determine what these conic sections are. And then unpause and I will obviously record the answers and you can check to see how well you did. I, you should be able to recognize and identify these within 30 seconds. Okay, so coming back from pause, um, I look at these four and I see that in the fourth one I only have one term that's squared, so that's a parabola. I look at all the other ones and they have two squared terms. So I'm looking at the second one and the squared term, these are both positive, but they're different, which means this has to be an ellipse. These are positive, but they're both the same, so this would have to be my circle. And if I subtract this term over to the left, I know that one will be negative, which is a hyperbola. And that's how fast you should be able to recognize these. That's the end of the video. Bye!